okay, your Dexcom G6 readings aren't exactly matching up with your finger prick readings, so what do you do now? This is what's called the 20% rule. You can find this on Dexcom's website, but let's just go through it now. At any given point, you can expect up to a 20% discrepancy in your Dexcom G6 readings compared to your finger prick readings. So let's just use a blood sugar reading of 100 as an example. Since we have the blood sugar of 100, what's 20% of 100? 20. So that means if your blood sugar is reading as 120 on your Dexcom, but 100 on your meter, this is technically accurate. Same goes for that lower variation. So if your Dexcom is reading 80 and your finger prick is measuring 100, that means it technically falls within that 20% of accuracy. So if your Dexcom G6 is reading within that 20% of your finger stick reading, there is no need to calibrate. When you do choose to calibrate, here are four rules to follow. Number one, make sure that your test strips aren't expired. Number two, make sure those hands are clean. Number four, calibrate when your blood sugars are stable and not when they're rapidly changing. And number four, avoid overcalibration. Overcalibration can lead to more inaccurate readings. If you're not sure if your blood sugar falls within the 20% rule, you can go ahead and check out our recent blog that has this chart for you to confirm.